I'm Apostle Michael Patton, pastor of Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral. I've been pastoring uh, Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral uh, for 14 years. I am the founder uh, of the ministry as well. And um, I'm married to Pastor Tina Patton. I have four beautiful children and I love what I do as a pastor and as an apostle. I gave my life to the Lord in 1987. Uh, upon giving my life to the Lord, I was in transition at that time. And I moved to Washington, D.C., where I began working for paternity and child support. While working at paternity and child support, um, I had a gentleman uh, that joined my team, and he was a pastor. And this gentleman uh, is someone uh, I really didn't uh, connect to uh, that often, uh, nor had I shared uh, my story with him in regards to being saved, uh, nor had I shared with him uh, the call that God had placed upon my life. And one day we went to lunch just to get to know each other better. And I remember it like it was yesterday. We sat down and uh, we were uh, in the mall of Washington, D.C., uh, and we began to eat uh, lunch. And uh, I began to share some things with him about myself. He began to share some things with me about himself. And as we were having lunch, um, the prophetic inspiration uh, came over him, and he began uh, to read my life like it was a book. Again, remember, I've never told him much about my life, and he began to share some things with me that only God could have shared with him in relation to what God was calling me or had called me to do and the dreams that I was having and had had from uh, a young man to my adulthood. And as he began to uh, share a prophetic word with me, it began to cause me to hear God and to uh, cause for the Spirit of God to rise up in me, um, to cause me uh, to have a greater desire to live for God. I was kind of swinging back and forth. I was someone at that time, yes, I was saved, but uh, I really wasn't uh, all the way committed. And so I would go to church sometimes uh, and sometimes not. And so uh, upon uh, eating lunch and continuing to listen to uh, this young man uh, speak into my life and to encourage me to really reconnect myself with God and cause me to realign myself uh, with the Lord, um, I walked away from that moment inspired. Inspired, first of all, to get my relationship right with the Lord. Inspired to realign my life and the things that were going on around me to reconnect with God in a way that I would start walking the journey that God created for myself. After having that moment and after hearing the words of the Lord uh, through the gentleman who spoke into my life, I began walking out my purpose. I then accepted my call into ministry in 1990. And once um, I accepted the call of God in my life, things began uh, to move forward from there. Um, after receiving uh, that prophetic word, I then sensed that God wanted me um, to come uh, to the community where I grew up called South Bend, Indiana. And I began to search out uh, ways to come into this community, uh, but um, I really had another plan other than what God had told me, and that was uh, possibly I would move into a major city within Indiana or I would cross the line into Illinois, uh, into Chicago. And it seemed uh, as I was looking for job opportunities that nothing ever panned out uh, through the relationships that I had of individuals who had uh, could open doors of employment for me uh, and help me uh, to move into their communities. Um, as I continued to seek God and as I continued to be prayerful and as I continued as well to make the attempts that were necessary to find employment uh, where God wanted me to be, um, I then uh, met my wife and I met my wife uh, at the Indiana Black Expo and uh, it was through a mutual friend of ours 
who flew into Indianapolis as I flew into Indianapolis and uh, my wife living in South Bend at that time, um, they both came into Indianapolis and I saw my wife Tina and at first sight I fell in love with her and at first sight I knew that that was my God sent wife. And so God is funny like that because uh, really it took uh, God introducing me to my God sent wife to really focus on um, making my way into South Bend. And then thereafter, uh, we began to relate to one another and we began to realize uh, that we were for one another and that it was God sent and God was placing us together. And so I began to be intentional about uh, my employment searches uh, here in South Bend and finally uh, the door of employment uh, was open to me at First Source Bank. I'm grateful to God for his leading uh, me through that storm and leading me through uh, the transition uh, that I went through in order to be here where I am today. And because of that and the focus that God gave me, believing all the time that God wanted me to come home uh, and to uh, start a ministry, um, I made my way into South Bend and it wasn't but a few years later uh, that my wife and I birthed Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral. My name is Tina Patton, and I have been saved since I was 12 years old. I was born and raised in the west side of South Bend in a family of 12 children. And I only knew love in my family. My mother and my father taught me the virtues of faith and love. My mother is a woman of great faith, and I got that really from her. And so I, too, became a woman of great faith. I have um, been married to my husband, Michael Patton, uh, for 14 years now. And we started the ministry in 2001. And we started with just um, he and I and our baby son, Devin. And it has been quite a journey, I will say. Um, but one of my missions, I guess my mission is to women and children. And it's always been my heart. I've always wanted to help women to really see the best in themselves, really catapult them to another level so that they understand that they have worth, they have value. And um, no matter what goes on in their lives, nobody can take that away from them. Education is important to me. Uh, I was educated here um, in South Bend. I graduated from Indiana University at South Bend, and I have a master's from the University of Notre Dame. Um, and I also work for Indiana Trust and Investment Management Company. There I am vice president and director of IT and operations. So I do have a full-time job. It's a very challenging job, but I love it. I'm also there able to help other people. One of the things that I believe that God has impressed upon my heart, and even as a young child, is really to be in ministry. And even as I was younger in ministry at Bethlehem Baptist Church in South Bend, Indiana, I would study my pastor, and I believe that the Lord was grooming me for where I am right now. So I would study him and um, got to the point where I could you know, just look at him and begin just to write the things that I believe that he wanted the people to know. And um, that was really um, encouraging for me. It was enlightening for me. And little did I know that God had so many other great plans in store for me. Um, even as uh, my husband had birthed the church, Kingdom Life, um, I saw that there were many women and men who had needs. that I know that God had put some gifts and talents in me that I could meet. And so even as this television show has been birthed, um, I know that there is something special that God wants me to inspire others to do. Um, one of my missions is really to just catapult people into another dimension so that they can do something great and they can do, be great in life. And so I'm just really so very excited about what the Lord has entrusted me with. It is a great responsibility, but I am really excited about it. I am honored more so than excited, I guess about what the Lord has given and entrusted my hands to do. 
I share in ministry here at Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral with my husband. Um, in that, I am the praise team leader um, as well, co-pastor. So therefore, I share in the preaching ministry as well. And so I am able also under the anointing of the Holy Spirit to really uh, give people what I believe the Lord would have for them to know um, as the Lord just really fills me up and allows me to empty myself out and pour myself out to the people of God that they might be healed, that they might be blessed, that they might be uplifted. Um, whatever it is that the Spirit of God tells me to do, I'm willing to do it. So I am just excited about really being in this season, in this place that I am in, um, because I know, as the Bible says, the half has not been told, and I'm just really looking with great expectation for the more of what God is going to do.